It's my birthday weekend. What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Ooh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia. So welcome back guys to my channel as I am also oh glamorous. <laughs> but it is my birthday weekend and I am just getting ready to kick things off and thought that I would bring you all along with me. So today, actually, I'm not really celebrating my birthday. Um, it is my cousin's birthday celebration. Well, actually, his birthday was last weekend during the whole snowstorm thing. And today, he's just celebrating with some drinks, some friends. And so I'm just going to use it as a pregame to my celebration tomorrow. Yeah, that's, that's what he's supposed to do. So I'm just about to get ready. I'm partly excited because I get to actually put on clothes and put on heels and be out in the streets safely. You know, mix and mingle, maybe, you know, meet a few people, get a little boo thing. Mm -hmm. My boo thing. I think it's actually boo thing, like not boo thing. Do you guys think that you jinx yourself when you think of things like that? Like when I go out, it will cross my mind like, oh, I might meet somebody. Should I not do that? Am I jinxing myself? Is that why I haven't met somebody? Hmm. So I had to bring the girl out. This is the girl, the wig. I had to bring her out because my hair is not done. Not only is my hair not done, but I'm also like, I'm not going to say I'm transitioning to natural. Like, don't get too excited, all my natural nieces. But I'm just slacking up on the relaxers that I get. I'll just say that. So the roots are a little thick right now. <laughs> and I just really haven't gone to like a hairdresser or even just done it myself i do plan on washing my hair at some point some point maybe sunday oh not gotta work sunday somewhere i'll wash my hair maybe like saturday morning i'll wash it but until then she gets to play i still haven't named her maybe she doesn't get a name but she gets to play so I don't really have too much planned for my birthday. One, cause we're still in COVID, I guess. Um, and also because I have a really big project going on at work and it is going to take up the entire month. And during that time, there really is no like, oh, let me take some days off. It's like all hands on deck, 24 seven coverage, outside of your normal hours, so, yeah, that kind of put a damper on some things. Like, I'm working Sunday. But luckily, I was able to work my hours around that I'm not going to be working on my birthday because I don't want that kind of stress of something new for a whole bunch of people on my birthday. So, I am lucky and blessed there. I am lucky and blessed there. You know, you just really have to count your blessings. But um, right after that, I'll be on call and I'll be working the weird hours, like 530 in the morning. So like the turn up can't happen too hardcore, not Saturday night and then definitely not Monday night, you know, because I got to talk to people. I got to think and function and have answers and build, you know, but um. It's fine. I'm sure that after this is all over, I will take some kind of vacation somewhere and turn up accordingly. Now, as far as my birthday, or what I am doing, I should say, um, it's really going to be very simple, very 
lay back. Um, I'm just going to go out to eat. I text one of my friends and it was like, where should I go for my birthday to go out to eat? She thought about it, gave me a place, and I was like, all right, be there for 7.30. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And it's just basically probably just going to be me and her. I mean, it's so last minute because I'll admit that I kind of, I didn't forget that it was my birthday. It's just that time just came so fast. And I was like, oh, huh, my birthday. So, I don't know. Nothing too big plan. And I'm okay with that. Like, I don't feel sad about it. I'm not, like, heartbroken about it. It is what it is. So, my friend just texted me saying that she is in town. So, her and I are going to grab coffee in the morning. Like, kind of early. But I don't know if I'm going to stay out late tonight. I don't know how late this thing even goes tonight. I will say this. It is an adjustment. I don't. It is an adjustment to Dallas to kind of do things at an earlier time, you know? Like, this event starts for eight. At home, the, the event probably would have started like at 10. Then nobody would have showed up until like 11. So, events start earlier here, you know? So I have to, definitely have to get used to that. But then does that mean that they go all the way till two? I don't know. Guess we're about to find out. But either way, I have a coffee date in the morning. And just when I thought that it was going to be kind of like a very laid back, not really seeing too many people for my birthday, this happens. So it's exciting. I need a new flat iron. I feel like I could go so much faster if I had a better flat iron. I need to find like what would be a better flat iron. I need to reach out to a hairstylist and see what would be a better option for me to get this done. But like I said, I'm almost done. I just gotta put on my clothes and this girl will be out. <laughs> Last night, oh my gosh, it was great. It started out celebrating his birthday, let him have his moment, meet his friends, you know, introduce me to people, all that good stuff. But then at the nighttime, like as it got later and later, it was revealed that it's also my birthday weekend. So then we went next door, like sort of next door, like down the sidewalk. I went to more of a club spot and finished drinking, basically, danced, had a really good time. I met some amazing people. I mean, we were just talking, getting to know each other, and it was like a good vibe. You know how you meet those people? Like, meeting new people is always, like, on edge for me because you just never know how you're going to be received, how they're going to be, all of these unknowns. But when I met these lovely young ladies, it was like, you were old friends. Like, hey girl, I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> kind of kind of vibe. And I loved it. So hopefully I'll be able to, you know, keep in touch with them. Because you know how when you meet people, you exchange numbers and like, yeah, girl, let's hang. And then you never hear from these people again. You just, you just never know. So now my friend is on her way to, I guess, I don't even know if we're going to walk there, if we're going to drive there. The weather is kind of iffy and kind of muggy. So either way, she's on her way. Then we're going to go and have some coffee and probably catch up. And I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Probably do some more recovery because then tonight I'm going out to eat. I mean, I'm not going to drink as hard as last night, but I'm going to still have a drink because it's officially like the celebration of my birthday. So... We'll see. I see confirmation that it was I finished my coffee date with my bestie. Now I am about to drop this box off to be thrown away. And I also have a package. And I think it's my new phone. 
So we'll see. But then it could be my new thing I ordered from Nordstrom. Who knows? We're just gonna go see. So it wasn't my phone, which <sighs> kind of sad about, but it'll come when it shows up. But I did get a package from my friend as a birthday present. So thought that I would open that. I love how she put fragile on ev everywhere. Like, probably gonna be upside down. Fragile, fragile. Like she wanted it to be known. It was all fragile. I love it. Love it. You know, because I'm telling you, delivery people can mishandle your stuff. So let's see what we got. Some bubble wrap. Is something in here? I hope not. I don't think I'm going to unravel all of this to find out. I don't think so. Look at this. My friends are so flipping creative. Like, you know, it's just not a regular box. Like, look at this. You know, me, I probably just would have put it in a regular box. A little brown box and been done with it. But no. Not my creator friends. They want to raise the bar. Go oh, find me a box. Oh, lately she's been putting like little notes on things. Anyway, this is a book that says your pocket self-esteem guide. Increase your confidence. Transform your life. So you guys may or may not know this, but I kind of call myself a little confidence coach. Like I've always wanted to always wanting to increase confidence in people, increase confidence in myself, just because all of my life I struggle with confidence and low self-esteem. So I like sharing the, the tips and the helpful information that helped me get to a level of loving myself and a higher self-esteem and higher level of confidence. So this book um, is just gonna give me more information to share with you guys on how to build Confidence. I love it. I love this. So, one of my, I guess, bucket list things that you could say is that I want to be on a billboard. I don't know how. I don't know what for. Hopefully for good stuff and not bad stuff. <laughs> so, I guess this is kind of like my card. And it says... This is as close as I can get to helping you get on a billboard. Listen, any help you can give. You know, that's, that's what you need friends for. Those who are just gonna help you reach your goals. <laughs> that is funny. Look at this box. Look at this box. What a bowl. Like, why would I wanna open the box? Why? Why would I want, mm. Just wanna preserve, can I? No. I <laughs> just wanna preserve everything. she find this stuff look at this try and come up close like it has stuff in it I don't know if it's gonna fall out or not it comes out it does come out because you gotta burn the candle which I probably won't burn the candle just FYI she is a beast at picking candles she got me is this close with that rock she has she got me this candle to put in my office to kind of change the mood of my office because I was complaining about how you know the office space is just blah sometimes I don't feel inspired I don't feel like being productive all of that good stuff I should probably rewrap this but anyway so she got me this candle just to kind of you know place in my office to to bring in some positivity some productivity just change the whole essence of the room when I tell y'all that candle and I haven't even burned it yet. It just, it just works. Like it just comes in different spurts. So she's really good at picking candles. I think I can feel what this is. Look. <laughs> oh, my famous wink 
on a mug. <laughs> I love it. You guys know I love my mugs. Where does she find this stuff? Oh, a hat, because she knows that I'm just now getting into hats. And it's for our New Orleans airport. Oh, and she's giving me a mascara recommendation. So I'm running out of mascara, and I asked on my YouTube channel recommendations, because every time I run out, I like to purchase a new one to try a different brand. So she is showing me what her favorite brand is. And this is from Bite Beauty. Oh, I don't think I even knew that they had a mascara. And then that's it. That was so fun. So that was my package. Oh, I I'm so excited. So now I'm probably about to... Uh, my dinner reservation is around 7.30, so I'm probably going to relax maybe take a little nap so I could be ready for the night. Um, and other than that, just kind of enjoy the rest of the day. It's not like a beautiful day, it's kind of like, eh. but I thought the sun maybe would have come out a little bit later, but it didn't, which is fine. But yeah, just gonna enjoy the rest of this Saturday and get ready for my birthday dinner. <laughs> Welcome to our weekly couch confessionals. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, so last night was a really lovely time. I didn't have like a picture of my outfit. I didn't record, you know, getting ready and all of that because after a while I started to be late, which I really like being late just it just burns me in the inside. You know what I mean? Like there are those people who just are late. They're always late and that's just how it's gonna be. But no, I was raised to not be on time. It was it's that saying that on time is early. Or early is on time and on time is late. Yeah, I'm a I'm an on time kind of girl. And so I had a reservation, but luckily, you know, they were nice. I was like five minutes maybe. Probably a little bit longer because I was sitting in valet for a while. But yeah, anyway, it was nice. The food, there's this place. The place is called The Henry. The food was fantastic. Everything that we ordered tasted delicious. It was a phenomenal experience. <laughs> and then we came back and I think I just went to sleep because I was, I was full. Like I wasn't stuffed. I just definitely felt satisfied, you know? So I went to sleep. And now sadly today I am working. Try not to dwell on since it canceled my original birthday plans, but we're here, we're living, we are blessed. I'm here to see another year. So I really should not be complaining. But other than that, just taking it easy until it's time to open up that laptop and start working. So I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, take in this beautiful sun, do some uh, um, church, and then just go about the day. And so it begins. It's not going to be really any too much, but working the system and answering tickets and all that non-pretty stuff. But tomorrow, um, I am going to explore this area called Bishop Arts. So my cousin, when I was thinking about where I wanted to live, he was telling me that I should really look into this area called Bishop Arts because it has like a lot of restaurants, a lot of like shops, things like close in the area that he probably thought that I would enjoy. So, of course, I didn't end up moving out there, but it always still just ran through my mind, like, what is this area like? So, tomorrow for my birthday, when I'm off, 
um, a friend of mine is going to drive around with me and we're going to go see the sites, just kind of enjoy the day, look at the shops and just do a little bit of exploring. Something, you know, low key because I really can't do too much because I have to work bright and early the next day, but just at least something to get me out the house. So I'll probably pick this back up tomorrow morning and I will see you guys then. Does perfect even mean? 